In tonight's ransom note, Tennessee lawmakers are showing they can gerrymander as good as any other state by approving new district maps for Congress and the state legislature. Take a look. Congressman Steve Cohen's District 9, based on the 2010 census, only included Memphis, as you can see here in the yellow, uh, with Congressman David Kustoff's District 8 getting the Memphis suburbs and the rest of West Tennessee. Now, watch what happens starting with the 2022 election. Cohen's District 9 picks up more of Shelby and also ventures up into Tipton County. In fact, half of Tipton County, they're going to split the two and District 8 will get the rest. That gives Congressman Cohen a, a lot more Republican voters to contend with, but his seat stays safe. In fact, he will be the only Democrat representing Tennessee and Washington because of what the Republican-led legislature did to Davidson County. Today, Congressman Jim Cooper announced he's stepping down because state lawmakers split up blue Davidson County to be part of three majority red districts. Other state House and Senate seats got moved around to Republicans' advantage as well, and Democrats are planning to sue. But they're going to lose. After every 10-year census, the party in power gets to redraw the lines. The Republican supermajority in Tennessee's capital suggests maybe Tennessee Democrats need to look in the mirror instead of pointing fingers. Find issues voters will respond to. Politics 101. Tennessee has been a blue state before, but if they want to power, have power again, uh, maybe it's time to stop whining. Join the conversation by email or my Facebook and Twitter pages.